It's time to stop this. There is two things that annoy me most in life. Thing one is the fact that I'm 22 years of age and I look four. Thing two is the buying and selling of fake football shirts. I'm always bombarded with people saying, Ellis, is this shirt real? Can you check out this shirt for me? Is this website real? Is X, Y, and Z website real? And that's completely fine, don't get me wrong. Today's video is basically going through what a fake slash replica shirt is, why you shouldn't buy them, and if you do need to buy them for whatever reason, due to the financial constraints or anything, I'm gonna tell you that you should not use the websites that sell them, and you should just get them from the supplier. My OCD is going insane. Why am I got two Roma shirts behind me? Substitution, welcome in Cameroon. Very quickly, if you're not aware of what a fake or replica is, a fake or replica shirt is essentially a shirt that has not been made by an official manufacturer and is inferior quality, inferior value, and everything's worse about it, than a real shirt. It's fake, it's not real. And football kits are some of the most faked items in the world, probably the most faked item in the world. So how do you spot them? Why shouldn't you buy them? Welcome to my video. Before we get into that, we need to address why do people buy fake football shirts? And for me, it falls down to two very simple categories. Option one, and the most common, is price. For example, a retro football shirt can range anywhere between 50 pound and 500 pound. So this means that if you want a specific football shirt, sometimes you're not gonna be able to afford it. For many, they cannot afford to buy an official retro football shirt. Due to this fact, they then go and buy themselves a fake or replica one for around the 20 to 30 quid mark. For example, on screen right now, there is a football shirt that you can get for 30 pound, and then the exact same one that you can get for 10 times the amount. And the second reason, which is way more common than you'd imagine is, the person buying the shirt does not realize they've bought a fake. And this is extremely prevalent on eBay and Depop and sites like that, because people do not make it clear that they're selling fake football shirts. However, the sad thing is it isn't just eBay and Depop. There are so many football shirt selling websites that do not make it clear that they are selling fake or replica shirts. Fair play to the ones that do, this isn't the ones I'm complaining about right now. So many of these shirt selling sites are ambiguous with what they say. They don't make it clear that what they're selling is fake. They don't mention that they're real. They don't mention that they're fake. The price is always quite cheap. And if you're a consumer going around on the internet, it's very easy to be scammed. When I first started collecting shirts, I really wanted to get the Fiorentina Nintendo sponsor shirt. However, I went onto eBay, I bidded on one for 25 quid. I didn't even realize that they would fake shirts that were that old. I fell into that trap. In the description of this video is a list of loads of sites that you should avoid if you do not want to buy fake or replica football shirts. Please always refer to this list, I will update it whenever I see new ones. Be sure to avoid it if you want to be getting the real deal and not a fake. Why shouldn't you buy fake football shirts? The quality of them is horrendous. There's absolutely no resale value in a fake football shirt. No one wants to buy your used fake shirt. Every single website linked below is called a dropshipping website. If you're not familiar with what a dropshipping site is, essentially they buy a product in, they make no changes to it, and they sell it on for a big profit. This is a very common practice and it isn't something that I'm gonna be against. People buy and sell football shirts all the time. I'm an example of this. I buy and sell real football shirts all the time. However, with a drop shipping business, that's fine. That isn't my issue. My issue is the fact that they don't make it clear that they're selling fake football shirts and not everyone is gonna have the time to shop around and realize what they're about to buy is a fake. However, due to the fact that they're a drop shipping website, 99% of them buy their shirts from a place in China called DHgate. They buy the shirts for a maximum of £12, they sell them for £30 plus. You watching this video can go onto DHgate and get these shirts for £12 if that's the way you want to spend your money. You can either spend £12 or you can spend between £30 and £50 and you will get the exact same quality shirt with no difference. These companies selling these shirts are not providing a product that is any different to the fakes on DHgate. Please bear that in mind when you go to consider buying a shirt. As I said before, that is their business. I don't begrudge them for doing it necessarily. However, I'm gonna always try and help my viewers to save money where I can. The final reason why you shouldn't buy fakes, the most com uncomfortable thing about this all is this. You're buying a football shirt that they can sell between nine and 12 pounds at cost price. How do you think that shirt's being made? There's already scandals about the official shirts being manufactured in not great ways. What conditions do you imagine that the people making these fake shirts are living in, are working in? There's been proof that people have been trafficked to do these jobs. By purchasing these shirts, you are inadvertently helping to keep this business of these horrible conditions that people work in alive. And I'm once again massively aware that not everyone can buy a real shirt, not everyone can afford it. What I'm saying is, if you can for whatever reason not do it, please avoid buying fake. And once again, what pains me the most about this is, there's gonna be people watching this video that have fake shirts right now. They didn't even realize they were fake. 
They've bought them from these websites in confidence and have not had a clue that they've bought a fake football shirt. And for me, that is the saddest part of this entire video. Once again, before we end this video, if you need to buy a fake football shirt because you want to wear that design, you want to have that shirt there and then, and you only have a budget of up to £30, please just use DHgate. Do not buy from these dropshipping websites. You're going to save yourself some money. And for your £30 budget, you might be able to get two or three fake shirts. But once again, I need to make it clear that I do not advocate for this at all. I'm simply saying that if for whatever reason, financially, you do not have the money to buy an official shirt, then at least save yourself some money. Thanks for watching, guys. I felt this is a video I needed to make due to the fact that I'm always being bombarded with questions wanting to know if a shirt is real, if a shirt is fake. My rule is this. If you see a football shirt that is online on a website like Classic Football Shirts, for around £200 and it's on a website for £30. It's fake, sorry. And as always, there's going to be exceptions to this rule, which is why football shirt selling is such a minefield. eBay and Depop is full of shirts that are fake. However, every so often, a real one will pop up for around 20 quid. I got this official Dortmund shirt for £30. It's like a £200 football shirt. That's how great eBay can be at times. However, spotting fakes and real shirts is so hard to do, even for myself. I'm someone who has over 100 football shirts, and from a distance and from most listings, I couldn't tell you a conclusive answer as to whether most shirts are real. So please, please, if there is a website that is selling a ton of retro football shirts, and they're all conveniently around £30, they're fake. There's no, there's no two ways about this they're selling fake football shirts. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this has been informative. I hope this has helped you to realize why you really should not be supporting the fake football shirt market. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. The content's usually much more cheery than this. The fact of the matter is fake football shirts are extremely low quality. If you want one, spend 12 quid on it, not 40 quid. Bye.